We're in Seattle, Washington, a lakeside city, and a magnet for those wanting to enjoy the waterborne lifestyle. Susan Dunn is never far from these stunning shores. It's a great central location, it's perfect. Susan plans to design and build a waterborne home, a house that floats on water. She wants to moor it here, a community of aquatic homes on Lake Union's eastern shore. I love the indoor-outdoor feel. I want to feel like I can be outside yet still be home. Key features for Susan's floating home include an ultra-modern contemporary design, an open concept living space, dual-use indoor and outdoor decks, and glass roofs for the sunlight to flood in. Float home builder Greg Totonelli is up for the task. After 12 months of building work, Susan's 190-ton floating home is ready to tow to its new mooring. Greg's crew must navigate heavy shipping traffic as they tow the massive house down Lake Union, as they snake the home around to its final destination on the eastern shore. Susan and Tim are already on site on top of the neighbor's float home for a bird's eye view in case anything goes wrong. Get your poles out. Greg's team try to stabilize the house Clear. and ease it into place. <laughs> Susan's new floating house finally docks at its new home. Oh my gosh, it's here, it's in the slip. I couldn't be happier right now. 18 months after deciding to take the plunge and build the ultimate contemporary floating home from scratch, Susan has a spectacular waterborne home. It's just going to be a brand new life for me. It's going to be uh, a little oasis. And I'm pretty proud of the way it turned out. I think I'll be enjoying it for years and years to come. I could swim to lunch. I mean, who can say that? You're taking something that's close to 200 tons and putting it in the water. It looks good on land, it looks gorgeous in the water.